Hello again, and let me show you in this video how to download aerial imagery from USGS Earth Explorer. I will show you how to search particularly for photographs that have been taken from airplanes with film cameras, and how to download high resolution ortho imagery. And you'll see what ortho imagery is. Um, so just go to any search browser and, and just type in USGS Earth Explorer, and um, you should get this link and you should not confuse this with uh, other explorers it's just usgs earth explorer and you need to create a login i already have one so you might want to pause, pause now and um, make a login it's free so i'm already logged in and um, you should see here that you have a search criteria i'm just going to go ahead and, and type in the address chapel hill and I would get like a suggestion of an area. I'm gonna zoom in there. I'm gonna go with the UNC and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and select something that I, it's very easy to recognize. I'm gonna eliminate the um, original point that was suggested and I'm gonna create some new ones. Let's say I just want images that are covering this area. I'm just clicking and creating a polygon. Okay, so let's see what other things we want to do um we can control the dates here um i'm gonna say i want a relatively old image let's go ahead 01 1950 all the way to the 70s let's say all right let's see if we get something from there and now we need to indicate which tape which type of data set um, and we have a lot of different data sets, but in this video, we're dealing only with aerial imagery and we want aerial photo single frames, this one. Let's see if, you can, if I can highlight it. No, I cannot highlight it, but you can see it. Aerial photo single frames. And let's see what results we have for, for this area. That was quick. Um, and you can quickly see, I mean, we have something for 15 September 64 and um, and I can click here to see which area is covering. And it's supposedly covering that area. I'm just gonna click this other one. Um, and then this other one. And you can see that they're all different data sets uh, from different years. I can go even all the way to, to the to August 61. But in fact, I'm just gonna stay with um, with one of these uh, first one that I saw here because they're um, in a scale of 30,000. Um, which is not as, uh, I mean, which is a little bit better than the 60,000 for the sake of later on uh, doing the rectification. In fact, let me see what other things I have. And I could actually control by, um, by scale. Um, but for those historical ones right now, I have, I'm gonna just select this one. I'm gonna select one. And then when you click here for downloading, you'll see that you have the medium resolution and the high resolution product. Um, you, you should download the higher resolution um, for our exercises. Okay, so let's go back to the data sets and let me show you. I'm gonna unclick this here um, and let me go to the search criteria and eliminate the dates or just go ahead. And what I can do is just put here in uh, 2019. Um, so it's grabbing a, a very long range and in the data sets, what we wanna do is select now high resolution ortho imagery and click results. And now you'll have a lot of different data sets. And when we click here, the, um, the footprint, now we're definitely going to be in the, when we get the data set, we're actually going to get that data in this area. In the previous example of the historical image, yeah, you're not definitely sure what you're gonna get um, because those images have not been georeferenced, which is something I'm gonna teach you in a video as well. Um, so let's go ahead and download this one for February 13, 2013. And you can see these are much bigger uh, data sets, so this will take a while. So I finally downloaded the data and, um, and I decided instead of using the 1960s uh, image for the sake of the example in that I will do in the next video. Um, I downloaded an image from 2002, um, which is a finer resolution. Um, and you can see the buildings. 
easier and this this would be better for for when i do the example on georeferencing and um if you don't have a mac it probably will download in its um compressed format and the problem with pcs is that it does not recognize that format um to uh, to, to get to see the TIFF file, which again, you can see I can open it very easily uh, with preview. And um, so in, in the case of, of um, a Windows, you will have to download and install 7-zip, which can recognize uh, the format. Um, I think it's a TAR or a G-zip. Um, I haven't, uh, the, since the Mac is doing it right now automatically, then I'm not uh, remembering right now in what format. but. When you download the, that was the aerial image, single frame, and here, this is the um, high resolution ortho imagery, which has multiple folders. And the image is gonna be in this folder that is called vol002. Uh, well, you'll see that it has two files. This little file is important, so don't don't lose that, um, because I have the, the information for having its, um, Geographic reference, and um, this is the image. So if I double click, I will see it in the in the um, in my preview. And you can see how nice and high resolution is this image. Um, and um, and again, I can drag and drop it into QGIS. I'm gonna click OK, and you can see uh, that it has a coordinate system, so it's uh, rectified. Okay. So that's good. And, um, and I'm gonna clear again this view and I'm gonna drag and drop a, one of the idle images. So you can see that it doesn't have, ah, see, actually I can see that it's a GZ um, compression since I'm downloading another one right now. Um, and you can see that this does not have a reference. See, this is the historical image um, and you can see that it, the corner here in the bottom, it's the zero, zero. So in the next video, then I will show you how to take an image like this one that doesn't have a reference and give it a geographic reference.